Okay, welcome to practice one of Trigo. So over here, we have a diagram, okay, and you realize that I've labeled in a dotted line over here. Okay, this is to help us uh, solve in an easier way. Okay, so also notice that I've labeled the diagram A, B, C, D, and E. Okay, so we will first start by finding angle X. So if we stare at triangle B, C, E, the angle, uh, sorry, the side that is opposite to angle X will be over here. Okay, the adjacent will be over here. Hypotenuse will be over here. Okay, so since we are given the adjacent and the hypotenuse, okay, we should be using cosine. So cosine of angle X is equals to adjacent over hypotenuse, okay, which is equals to 7.5 over 13.5. Okay, so to find X, I just take cosine inverse of 7.5 over 13.5 and if I round it off, if I round this off to one decimal place, I will just get 56.3 degrees, okay, to one decimal place. Okay, now moving on, let us find y, okay, so we will find the length y by using Pythagoras theorem on this triangle over here, okay, so maybe I'll just uh, highlight the triangle to make it clearer. So we look at, look at triangle B, C, E with me. Okay, so look at triangle BCE. Okay, so for triangle BCE, okay, this is, you stare at it very carefully, this is my Y. Okay, and I can find Y using Pythagoras theorem. Okay, so, so how do I find Y? Use by Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem. Okay. 13.5 square is equals to 7.5 square plus y square. So y would just be the square root of 13.5 square minus 7.5 square. If I round it off to three significant figures, it'll just get 11.2 centimeters, okay, to 3SF. Okay, 